I presented the data of the Team 2B trial. And this is a trial uh, where we investigated uh, the effect of the addition of uh, abandronate, a bisphosphonate to uh, adjuvant hormonal therapy in postmenopausal hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer patients. Not only HER2, no, it's also HER2 positive, by the way. So in Team 2B, uh, we uh, enrolled uh, 1,116 patients in 37 centers in the Netherlands. Uh, between 2007 and 2014. Uh, the original trial uh, had been uh, meant to enroll over 2,000 patients, but because of slow accrual, we amended the trial and, uh, to 1,116 patients. Uh, in August 2016, we uh, achieved the required number of disease-free survival events. Disease-free survival was the primary endpoint of the trial. Um, and um, we had 149 events at that time. Regarding mortality, um, the mortality between the arms was equal, um, but there was a difference in breast cancer uh, mortality uh, in favor of the ibendronate arm, but this was not significant. Uh, regarding secondary tumors, there were nine secondary tumors in the control arm and 14 secondary tumors in the ibendronate arm. Uh, regarding the um, primary endpoint, uh, this was a three years di disease free survival rate, and the three years disease free survival rate in the ibendronate arm was 94.3%, and in the control arm it was 90.8%. Uh, with a hazard rate of 0.80, and this was not statistically significant. Uh, the secondary endpoint of bone metastasis as first event uh, was 1.4% uh, in the ibendronate arm and 3.1% uh, in the control arm with a hazard rate of 0.59, and again, this was not statistically significant. Uh, regarding side effects, um, the most significant, uh, significantly different side effects was uh, um, uh, gastrointestinal uh, complaints, uh, and this was a little bit over 8% in the abandonate arm and a little bit over 2% in the control arm. Uh, one of the most feared uh, side effects of bisphosphonates is uh, osteonecrosis of the jaw. And this was, this was observed in four patients uh, with an incidence of 0.7%. And uh, the uh, complaint resolved after treatment in all four patients. Uh, renal function was not an issue with ibendronate, although there were two patients uh, that had uh, renal failure. Uh, but it, this was possibly not related to the use of ibendronate. Uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, issues of the trial was that we knew that there was uh, compliance uh, in only 67% of all patients, and so this may have, may have miti mitigated uh, the results. Um, overall, uh, what we conclu can conclude from this trial um, is that it, uh, although the uh, disease-free survival uh, was not significantly different between the two arms, there was a trend in favor of ibendronate. And in fact, it was consistent with results that have been reported before uh, for adjuvant bisphosphonates in, breast can in post postmenopausal breast cancer patients. One of the issues with the uh, current analysis is that it might have been too early, especially because uh, these uh, mainly luminal A breast cancer patients, if they recur, they tend to recur late after five years. Uh, so the median follow-up in, in, with the current analysis was 4.6 years, and I think uh, we should uh, look again after 10 years, a median follow-up of 10 years, and it might, be, might well be that the difference is then uh, statistically significant. There was a slightly higher uh, uh, incidence of secondary malignancies in the abandoned arm, but the uh, absolute numbers were really low in both arms, and so there was no statistically different. There was no statistical difference between the two. 
but I must say that I also I would have preferred that that the number of secondary malignancies would have been equal in both arms. Um, at present, I cannot tell whether this is uh, a real difference, and I think with longer follow-up, we will be able maybe to see a pattern, pattern emerging uh, regarding this issue. I think uh, because this result is consistent what has been reported already in a, a meta-analysis, uh, that I think uh, um, bisphosphonate uh, can be used in, in the adjuvant uh, uh, setting, uh, especially for uh, higher risk postmenopausal patients. Uh, from the meta-analysis -analysis, analysis we know that you c it's also beneficial in hormone receptor negative postmenopausal patients. Um, um, because the bisphosphonate is also uh, effective in uh, reducing the incidence of osteoporosis, which is an issue with aromatase inhibitors, uh, one should also consider it in lower risk breast cancer patients uh, that have already osteopenia before they start on an aromatase inhibitor.